truly gorgeous afternoon for baseball now from sunny AT&T Park in San Francisco. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the L.A. Dodgers and the San Francisco Giants. Get ready for Giants baseball next. John McDonough is on the mound for the Giants in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, this guy keeps his team in the ball game. He's won two of his last three starts, so he's been throwing the ball really well. And one of the keys for this guy is getting early outs to keep his pitch count down. If he can do that, he should be able to get into the seventh or eighth inning in this one here today. Ready now, Chris Taylor. He will lead this one off today. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. Danny Dero, this Giants team, as they begin play here this afternoon, they do come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've been giving ground in the division of late. They've won just twice in their last seven games. Yeah, Matty D, we're looking at a team right now. They're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand. They split it two and two, Dero, and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah, and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans. They need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five of this homestand. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Slater is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now at the plate, Justin Turner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First delivery to him on the way. And he takes ball one. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made. Digging in, Henry Hoskins. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the first pitch coming, here Henry it is. Gilbert. Henry Hoskins. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Nero, Danny, this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They come into this one off a loss that finally snapped what was a long, long winning streak. Yeah, Matty B. And you know one thing you don't want to do here, Dero? You've been on some good teams. Not to lose focus at this point of the year. And keep the big picture in sight because there is a postseason lurking, and it's so easy to get ahead of yourselves and not take the rest of the schedule serious. I think the nice thing for this team is that they won the division. They will, for whatever happens, get a five-game series. It's not that one-game wild card, win or go home. This team can prepare themselves to battle and try and win three out of five. And with that, a look at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. Who do you have your eye on, Ben? Well, Matt, we'll see if Miguel Sano can be a difference maker, as he often is. He had over 20 runs batted in. Oh, hang on now. This ball is deep down the line in right. It looks to have the distance, and it's fair. A home run. It's a solo home run for Joe Panic. Number 21 for him on the season as the Giants are stacked to a 1 0 lead. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world. And when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it just like he did there. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. He really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Behind 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others. But the best ones, forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. And a breaking ball stays outside.
swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, but it bends just foul into the second deck. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Giants off to a good start. Bye-bye, baby. It's a solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's 1-0 San Francisco. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Hoskins going back on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Time for a look at the San Francisco Giants on defense. And let's take a look at first baseman Brandon Bell, nicknamed Baby Giraffe for obvious reasons. This guy has got big time pop, short swing to the baseball, also very sure-handed defender. Meanwhile now, this is a fair ball down the line in left, and that ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's Ender Inciarte. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. The average sitting at 292 here to start playing. 11 home runs and 51 runs batted in. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. little bit outside two and one I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate he circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today he's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game this is on the ground over the first and that'll get on through into right field for a base hit and they won't risk it at third so they're at the corners now with only one away hey after that hit right there Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games yeah no doubt about it six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night then here's the first pitch to him line drive to left and a base hit and that'll get the run in from third Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball Dero right there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. Standing in, Adam Duvall. And he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. One ball, no strikes to count. In Ciarte, over at second, Barnes at first, one gone. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. The second for one on the belt, but it won't be in time as they just settle for one. Digging in, Clayton Kershaw. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Slater is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's got five base hits and 25 tries. He's taken him deep once. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Takes a knee-high fastball. Crawford, playing here in his age 31 season. He was a fourth-round selection during the 2008 draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Brandon Crawford is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. 
I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. And he misses there. One and two. Oh, he thought he had him right there. I did too, but no dice. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Two out, nobody on. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Lofted in the air out to right field. Puig's got a read on it, and the inning is over. Giants down in order. We've played two full innings, and we are tied one to one. The iconic cable car is here in the city by the bay. Welcome back to AT&T Park in San Francisco for the third inning in this one. Now with the plate, Chris Taylor. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Drilled to the left side. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -back fastballs. The hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Next up for Los Angeles, Corey Seager. He flew out in his last at-bat. A ball and no strikes. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. That's a great job of keeping your hands back. You could tell he was totally fooled. His hips started leaking a little bit, but he was able to stay strong enough with his hands not to overcommit. 3-0 and to him now. Here it comes, the 3-0. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there on the belt, and they turn to a double play. Now got it. So striding in, Justin Turner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The pitch. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the shot. Now batting, Tim Fedorovich as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Back to work now as Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man, nothing in one. You know, you think it's an eight-hole hitter right there. You shouldn't be taking that fastball, and you're right. But when you got the pitcher hitting behind you, you sometimes sit off speed because that's the pitch you're usually going to get. The pitcher does not want to get beat by you. And he's not afraid to walk you and hand it over to an A.B. against the pitcher. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Just a tick behind for a strike. Start of that swing a bit too early. One out, nobody on. Liner toward right center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Well, you don't see that all the time. Pitcher deep in the count, 0-2. And, and d Rose still manages to sneak out a base hit on an 0-2 count. You know what? He never left, lost his toehold there, Dan. He seemed like he wanted to hit. He was aggressive. He battled and was able to be rewarded with a nice base hit. This is in the air out to left field. Duvall is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now with the play, Joe Penn. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And he lays off there, 1 0. In there, and it's even at 1. McDonough is off of first with two away. Panic behind a ball and two strikes. 
swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning one left for San Francisco through three complete all tied one apiece so now it'll be the four hole hitter Cody Bellinger fly down in his first at bat so it'll make him 0 for 1 so far first pitch of the at bat lifted the other way out to left center Slater's in pursuit he gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. And now is Yasiel Puig. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. First offering on its way. The bouncer to the left side. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Up next for the Dodgers, center fielder. Ender's riding into the box. Ender Inciarte. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Dodgers retired on just four pitches. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it will be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Yeah, I'm shocked you let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. The windup and the 0 1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself to be out. Now batting. Here's Miguel Sano. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Throw to first, will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Number 35, Brandon Crawford. Into the box now, Brandon Crawford. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Kershaw is ready. First pitch on the way. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. The 0 and 1 delivery. And he fouls this one off. One run, two hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Q shot here out towards short. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. Fifth inning coming up, tied at
That'll bring in Austin Barnes. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Line to the right side, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. How about it? Left fielder, Adam Duvall. Now in the box, Adam Duvall, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is line to left. Slater is there and he'll bring this one in. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Stepping in now, Clayton Kershaw. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Chris Taylor, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Popped him up. Crawford is there. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. One left for L.A. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Stepping up now, Jared Parker. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's a strike. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his own with all different options. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Gets him looking up around the letters. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out. And we're only in the second game of this series. So that brings up the outfielder, Austin Slater. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Oni pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Taylor ranges back and he has it for route number two. How about it? Striding in, Tim Fedorovic. First offering on its way. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He's pounding his own. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Giants down in order. We played five full, tied at one aside. Ready once again, Corey Seager. He was a double play victim last time around. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And 
Now Corey with a swing and a deep drive to right. Parker facing back at the track. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll make it as he starts out inning number six with a leadoff triple. Boy, after that base knock uh -huh. right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The short hit hard. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder, Cody Bellinger. Pulled toward right center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Yeah, everyone knows this guy's been having a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a good sell on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Alonzo Hagan will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Alonzo Hagan. And now is Yasiel Puig. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. Panic shading to his right, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Into the box, Ender Inciarte, one for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. On the ground to the right side. Panic with the dive. Got him. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. Buster Posey is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. No balls and a strike to count. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hit out towards second. Gloved by Taylor. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Digging in once again, Henry Hoskins. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hard ground ball to third. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Hey, Dero, that's a one-out single right there. Hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on first base, and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. Joe Pennant comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one behind 0-2 now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this type of arsenal, Man, you got to step out of the box, clear your head, and just fight. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Giants leave one. They're down 2-1. Back here in San Francisco, the men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. Sam Dyson is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 49, Sam Dyson. Digging in and looking for more, Austin Barnes. It was a single for him in his last at-bat.
first pitch on its way. High fly ball after straightaway center. Hoskins is under this one and very quickly one gone. The left fielder number 23. Adam Duvall. Now to the plate, Adam Duvall. Lifetime against Sam Dyson. He's just one for six. First pitch coming. Here it is. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter number 22. Pitcher Clayton Kershaw. Standing in now the pitcher Clayton Kershaw. So with two away they decide to let him hit instead of burning a pinch hitter. First pitch of the at bat. Tries to dump this one out to left. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 home. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is taken for ball two. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Hoskins is under it, and he makes the catch for out number Settling in now, Miguel Sano. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. He takes a good curveball at the knees. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there, and see you later. In now, Jarrett Parker. As he'll take a look at ball one. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitcher's duel, two to one, our score. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. A ball and two strikes now. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Hey, after starting the game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that single had to feel good. Right there. A nice piece of hit. Into the box now, Austin Slater. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 
This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Hit out towards second. Taylor has it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. And now Boach is going to make his way out toward home plate. And it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Will Smith will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Denard Spann is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 home. Line towards center field. And there's a base hit. So a chance to add a little insurance here if the leadoff man is on to start the eighth. He's lucky it's only a single back up the middle and not a double in the gap or a home run. Pitches like that in a show get absolutely hammered. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. The 0 1 pitch. Smoked on the ground, left side. Played on the backhand. On to first, and they turn the double play. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder, Cody Bellinger. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted the other way out to left center. On the move is Span. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. They still lead it 2-1. to one. Nick Hundley will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number five, Nick Hundley. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. The average sits at 3-0-3 entering play. Five homers, 18 driven in. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Christian Arroyo will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Strike one to start the at-bat. One run, four hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Barnes goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. Arroyo is retired, two down now. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. Into the box, Henry Hoskins. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Giants are down one, two, three. Our score remains two to one. Nick Hundley will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now catching number five. Hunter Strickland enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now in left field, number Next for the Dodgers, Yasiel Puig. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. And a good way to start the ninth as he's in with a leadoff double. 
The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Here's Ender Inciarte, and that one got a piece of him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. Here comes the first pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Puig at second. Inciarte at first with no out. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple of runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. The 1-2 misses for the second ball. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. And the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. And it's fouled away. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A little bouncer, but that one rolls foul. A throw behind the runner at second. Runner back standing. One run game here in the top of the ninth. the ground is short. Could this be two to second for one on the belt and they turn the double play. That ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Joe Pennant will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. The first, baseman. first baseman Brandon Bell, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Into the corner and slicing foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my men on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. One oh home. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. And another foul ball. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that three. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that. Going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Dodgers, with their 97th win, tops in the division. Clayton Kershaw wins for the 17th time the top total on the staff and reporting 16 strikeouts along the way.
So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. This afternoon for the victorious Dodgers. Two runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Giants, one run, four hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 34 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, 41,503. The Giants, thank you for attending today's game at AT&T Park. And remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely. From the home of the Mariners since 1999, we're inside Safeco Field here in Seattle. It's the penultimate game of the year between the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners. Ben Gamble, one of the league's best hitters, looks to gain ground in the chase for an AL batting title. First pitch is next. Felix Hernandez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Here's Elvis Andrus now, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Here it comes now to Andrus. And we are underway from Seattle as the first pitch of the afternoon misses for ball one. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. Well, they've been on a pretty good roll of late. Winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty D. Hey, D. Well, we're looking at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. Here's Carlos Gomez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The head-to-head -head history with King Felix. He's gone five for 13. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. A chance now to look at the batting order for the visiting Rangers. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. 
it looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. First offering on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. A wave and a miss. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. One left for Texas. Rangers nothing. Martin Perez gets the starting assignment for Texas in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, lefty Martin Perez, not an overpowering guy. Sneaky quick, 92 to 93 miles an hour. Good hard slurve. His changeup is a good pitch. Not overpowering, but one thing I like that he does, and you'll know early on if he's pitching well, he's not afraid to come inside with the fastball to right-handed hitters. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once in their previous 10 games. Yeah, Matty, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran, not going to let the moment get too nope, big for him. Completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing lately. That can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy. Right guy, right spot. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Andrews ranging into the outfield. One away. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. What's going to be the key for him today, Mark? Yeah, Matty, this team has been putting up a lot of runs lately. From top to bottom, just swinging the bat super nice. Pass the baton mentality. Guys not trying to do too much. Trusting in the teammates behind them. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. and oh. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. 3 and 0 oh now. There you see Yonder Alonso. He waits next. Hit on the ground down the first baseline but foul. The 3-1. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. Here's Yonder Alonso. He pulls this one into right. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Batting fourth, left fielder. Here's Nelson, Nelson Cruz now. Lifetime against Martin Perez. He's two for four. First delivery to him on the way. Little dribbler down the line. But it's foul, strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Runner on first with two away. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. As it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. 
squared that one up just a little late. The wind up and the 0 1. A little bouncer. Foul ball, strike two. Ready with the 0 2. Missed with the breaking ball. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And let's focus on Gene Segura. Very athletic shortstop. Has one of the best arms in the position. Is really coming into his own offensively as well. Adam Lind is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. and And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 and now. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Dyson's there. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for the Rangers, Rubnet Odor. He's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. The head to head history with King Felix. He's just 1 for 6. Nope. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Well, there's a shot of King's Court, the cheering section devoted, of course, to today's Mariner starter, Felix Hernandez. Fans have a great time down there in the left field corner, and it's really become a staple here in Seattle. Yeah, and he's been the cornerstone of this Mariners organization for a lot of years now, Matt. So it's really great to see these fans rally behind him every time he toes the rubber. And they really go crazy when he strikes a guy out. It's a big party down there. Yeah, he's really meant a lot to this organization and this fan base over the years. So it's great to see them support him in such a cool way. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's a pop-up now. Valencia is there, and the side is retired. So a strong inning there for Felix Hernandez. It remains nothing-nothing. Digging in now for the Mariners, Danny Valencia. As they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Valencia. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. You've got to applaud the effort there from the left fielder. It just didn't work out as the ball squirts by him, resulting in a double. That's the danger of leaving your feet in the outfield. Now with the plate, Brian Dozier. Here comes the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Valencia stands at second with no outs. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. This is line to left. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Oh, man, that's a total brain cramp out there on the bases. He might have thought it was going to get down, but you've got to be sure. Instead, they double him off, and that really changes this inning. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. and <laughs> Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. The one-two. Tried to go. hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two.
started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And there's a base hit on the line. So a two out single there and gets him a base runner and that leads us to check out the team leaders in hitting here in the final month of the season. And we find that these guys are currently third best in the AL in that department. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pitch out. Nothing doing. A 1 0 pitch. Fastball that just misses inside. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Now the 2 0. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Segura rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Here now is Mike Zanino. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Two out here and a runner at second. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. Count still at one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Line toward the alley in left center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. Here's Gerard Dyson. Fly down in his first at bat, so making it 0 for 1 so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Flying toward right center. That's his first base hit, making 1 for 2 now. The relay throw. Well, he thought about going for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out there. And he knew he was in trouble there as they just tag him out between second and third, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on five base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the... Welcome back to Major League Baseball on the show from Seattle, Washington. All set now for the top of the third in this one. Coming to the plate now, Arturo Tyner. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The windup and the 0-1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Count remains at 0-2. Hernandez readies another 0-2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So next to the plate for Texas, Hector Sanchez. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. This is 
swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Two away in the inning. And Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Looking at his career totals, Andres hits a little over the 270 mark. Andres in an 0-2 hole here. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Next for Seattle, Ben Gamble as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Sent on the ground out to second. A door is there, and that's out number one. Up next for Seattle. Here's Yonder Alonso. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly by Lind. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Nelson Cruz now. First time up, he went down looking. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Cruz brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Cruz is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left-hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. What a comforting... And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Mariners... Leading off the inning, Carlos Gomez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. Count even now at one and one. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. Zanino flies the tag. Martinez is retired, and there's one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Behind 0-2 now. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Into the corner and slicing foul. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Rangers leave one. They're still down. It's 2-0.
Stepping in, Danny Valencia sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Rounded down the third baseline. So this is foul for the first strike. Popped him up. Lind is under it. One down. Stepping into the box, Brian Dozier. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Right over the middle, knee high. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. Now the one and one pitch. There's a fastball that misses. That's a He's ball. fallen behind now. Three and one. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked a soul. But we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Gene Segura standing in. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. First pitch on its way. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Count is one and two now. The one, two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Dozier leads off first with one away. Tapper up the line, reined in. There's one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Now batting, third baseman. Stepping in, James Rosenberg. Rosenberg will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Here comes the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Down and away, ball one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And he'll get back in standing. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Martinez has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mariners leave one. They're up two to nothing. At the plate, Adam Lind comes into this Good at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Adam Lind. First delivery to him on the way. He takes a knee high fastball. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Lind possesses a slugging percentage above the 450 mark, so he's capable of running into one here. One and two to Adam Lind. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Still one and two. 
The one two. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. Another one two delivery. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Rufnet Odor will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Good curveball. Strike two. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Dyson is there. Two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Arturo Tyner. As Hernandez is going to jump ahead of him here with strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 0-1 on its way. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Mike Zanino. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Grounded back up the middle. Andrus has it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in Gerard Dyson. A fly out and a single for him so far. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the back. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag, just keeping him close. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A pitch out. The throw on the pitch out pays off as he is nailed at second base. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Grounded to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. So that's his second knock of the game, and you can add this to his ever-growing list of multi-hit performances this season. Does this guy ever look bad at the dish? I mean, really doesn't. Fighting for a batting crown, throwing out multi-knock games daily. It's going to be a fight to the finish right here. Oh, for two for him to this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a little tapper. Fouled off. Gamble leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. One, two. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in. Stepping into the.
the box, Hector Sanchez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. In now, Elvis Andrews. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. The one one. Misses for the second ball. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Carlos Gomez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. A ball and two strikes now. Hit high and deep to right center. Chasing after it is Dyson. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They Andrew Kashner enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 57. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Danny Valencia is on deck. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Over the bullpen and gone. Total home run from Nelson Cruz. Number 31 for him on the season. And the M's have taken a 3-0 lead. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in the series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. Now batter, Into the box now, Danny Valencia. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. The relay. And he's going to make it. He gets into second base with a hustle double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's Brian Dozier now. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Back goes Martinez. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, number 28 on the season, and the Mariners have opened it up to 5 nothing now.
Wow, what an impressive job of hitting right there. They went with the slider on the outer half, but it came back just enough for him to drive it down the line just inside the pole for a home run. You don't see a home run like that too often. Gene Segura standing in. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And that's a fair ball, lined to the right side. Now batting, third baseman, James. So striding forward now, James Rosenberg, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First delivery to him on the way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1-0 is in off the plate. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way. And He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Hey. Two and one. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Gomez. He can't get there as it falls in. And there's one away. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. Here now is Mike Zanino as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Hopefully not a swing for the bubblegum card there. It's one and one. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. Ready with the one and one. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Three runs already home here. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Martinez there to put it away for route number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Gerard Dyson. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. This is flared out towards second. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, Dero. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now a pickoff play at second. Runners back. Kashner pauses. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Ready to deliver the one and two. Started the chase there. They'll appeal it down to third. And no swing. It's ball two. Rosenberg on second. Dyson at first. Two out in the inning. Spin and a throw back to second. And the runner back easily. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. 
It's full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Pickoff move to second, and the runner back in standing. And here's the 3-2 from him. That pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A.B. Down 0-2, you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. First offering on its way. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they do get three that inning. That's the good news. The bad news is they leave three men on base. Seventh inning coming up. The Mariners are on top, five to nothing. Welcome back to Safeco Field here in Seattle. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Digging in now, J.D. Martinez, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And what are the key numbers to look at? First pitch. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field. And that is going to clear the wall. A home run. A solo shot here to left. Home run number 39 on the season for him. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Uh, chased after that one, and it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. This is line to left, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Up next for the Rangers, designated hitter, Nomar Mazzara. Striding forward now is the DH, Nomar Mazzara. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's set and the pitch. A knee-high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. A runner at second, nobody out. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Nope. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. And this is going to get down. Extra bases, and they're starting to make some inroads here. He's in at second safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Now, never Patrick, say never in this game, second. folks. It's Adam, late, and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Here's Adam Lind, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. No hits to this point. Good-looking sinker on the inside corner. Mazzara leads off second with nobody out. And he'll take strike three called, and he needed that one badly on the mound. One away. So digging in now, Rubnet Odor. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. 
Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Just don't understand the game plan right here. Walking up to home plate, you had to think you could potentially be pitched around. But now you find yourself down 0-2, and it's a battle. The next 0-2. Is a fastball down below the knees. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. A hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. And they're going to chip away some more as this is down for extra bases. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. There's a good fastball from Hernandez that time. Strike one. Popped him up. Zanino has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. In now, Hector Sanchez. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A changeup over the inside corner. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Here comes another 0-2. And another foul ball. Hernandez ready. Another 0-2. Sent on the ground out to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Get up and straight. Lance Lynn gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Nelson Cruz. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Swinging a soft liner. On to first with it is Andrus, and it's in time, one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Danny Valencia. His prior history versus this arm. The pitcher zoned him. He's a paltry one for 11. Line drive to left. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Hey, this guy's obviously seen the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Brian Dozier will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up, ball two. As a pitcher, you got to feel good that you had him out front, even though he didn't pot commit on that one. It opens up a lot of weapons for you to go high fastball or throw even a better off-speed pitch. Hard hit toward the hole. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. The batter number six, shortstop, Gene Ready for another shot now. Gene Segura, last time through, was a base hit. He's set. Here it comes. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. The 1-0 is laid off for ball two. 
What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Now the 2-0. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Back on another here as the runner scores from second. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Coming to the plate now, James Rosenberg. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Here comes the first pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Well, you know, getting up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. This has popped up, and this will be hauled in by Andrus for route number two. Number three. So coming to the plate, Mike Sonino. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Elvis Andrews. And they'll need him to get something going here. Jerry Blevins has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here it comes now to Andrews. And oh, look inside, but that's ruled to strike. Nothing in one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Heading out towards shallow right. Gamel is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Here's Carlos Gomez. The head-to-head -head numbers against Jerry Blevins. Just a couple of matchups. No hits in two at-bats. In there at the knees. Strike one. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer. Needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. Stays alive. Still 0-2. Levins rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. Here's J.D. Martinez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Here's Joey Gallo now. And Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. I'm set with the 0-1. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Martinez, the runner at first with two gone. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Wow, really close pitch on 0 and 2. That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. One left for Texas. Can't cut into that 6 3 deficit. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Gerard Dyson. His prior history in this matchup, he's one for five. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. This is on the ground over the first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Right fielder number 16, and Hamill. And 
that will bring up Ben Gamble. So far, two for three in this one. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Martinez on the run. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall. And that's a break for the defense as it's going to keep the runner from first from scoring. And case in point why he's one of the best bats in the business as he's aboard for the third time today. He has had so many multi-hit games this year. Why are we surprised he mixed in another three-hit performance? I expect this guy to finish strong and fight for the batting title up until his last at bat. Favorable call in there for a strike. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's the 0 1. 1 and 1. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed win. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Now a big swing by Alonzo, and he connects. This one is carrying well. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Three-run home run down the line in right. Number 21 for him on the season as it's now a six-run ball game. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be fine, Dero. The hitters on point, the pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate, and this offense, is, both offenses, they're taking advantage. The bouncer to the left side. Odor has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, first baseman, Danny Valencia. Ready for another chance, Danny Valencia. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. They did damage it. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground out to short. There is Andrus. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. But the Mariners pick up three in the inning on this three-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Rangers. It's now a 9-3 ball game. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. The head to head numbers against Jerry Blevins. He's hitless in three at bats. Nick Vincent comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Vincent. A right-hander who stands in even six feet. He was taken in the 18th round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone! A 
solo home run for Nomar Mazzara. Number 23 for him thus far as they try to claw back. It's a five run deficit. Here's Adam Lind. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, D. Rowe, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. At the plate, Rufnit Odor, one run in and one gone so far in the center. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit sharply toward the right side. Throw to first is in time, and the Rangers are now down to their final out of the game. Arturo Tyner. Digging in to try it again. Arturo Tyner. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. Takes a knee-high fastball. Two out, nobody on. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Slap hard the opposite way. And that will make him one for four in this one. Now that is Catherine. Standing in, Hector Sanchez, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And a high strike to begin the at bat, it's 0 and 1. Ground ball right side. Throw on to first to be in time to get him, and the Mariners run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. And these home fans are getting a little spoiled as they take the first three of this four-game homestand. They might want to break out the brooms for the next one as they look to finish off with a big sweep. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 to four final score. The M's took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Felix Hernandez gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Our final line for this afternoon, first for the Victorian Seattle Mariners. Nine runs on 19 hitters. One error. The left nine men on this. For the Rangers, four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five men on this. The winning pitcher is Felix Hernandez. His record is now 10 and 12. The loss goes to Martin Perez. He falls at three and nine. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safe Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.